we're going to use make a 10 to add. I'm going to use a 10 frame. This is lesson 3.9. We can use make a 10 to help us add 8 plus 5. We make a 10 by filling the 10 frame. We want to add 8 plus 5. We put 8 counters for the 8 add end. We put 5 counters for the 5 add end. And we can fill the 10 frame to make a 10. We move these into the 10 frame. Now we have a 10 and 3 ones. We have 10 plus 3. We just count how many are outside the 10 frame. 10 and the 3 more. What we're doing is we're taking the 8 plus 5 and we're breaking the 5 into a 2 and a 3. See? 2 and a 3. We're giving the 2 to the 8 and adding them together to make a 10. Then we add the 3 and it equals 13. So 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, just like 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. What is 9 plus 4? We put 9 counters for the 9 add in, 4 counters for the 4 add end, and we can put one of these counters into the 10 frame to make a 10. We had 9 plus 4, and it equals 10, 11, 12, 13. What we did is we put one of the counters with the 9 and made a 10. And then we had 3 on the outside. So 9 plus 4 equals 13, and 10 plus 3 equals 13. Let's try it again. What is 8 plus 6? We put 8 counters for the 8 add end. We put 6 counters for the 6 add end. And we can move 3 of these counters into the 10 frame. We make a 10 by using some of these counters. And 8 plus 6 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We had 8 plus 6, and we broke the 6 into a 2 and a 4. We gave the 2 to the 8 to make a 10. Then we can add the 4. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14, and 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. What is 7 plus 6? We put seven counters into the 10 frame. That's the greatest add-in. So we start with the seven. We have six counters for the six add-in. We can move some counters into the 10 frame to make a 10. Now we have three inside with the seven and three on the outside. The seven blue ones plus the three orange ones make a 10. We add the three that are on the outside and 10 plus three is 10, 11, 12, 13. So that means seven plus six is equal to 13. It's the same number of counters. We just made a 10 from the seven and three. See, let's try it again. What is 3 plus 9? Well, 9 is the bigger add end. So we're going to start by putting 9 counters into the 10 frame. Then we have 3 counters for the 3 add end. And we can put one of them into the 10 frame to make a 10. Now we have a 9 with a 1 and 2 on the outside. See? We have a 9, a 1, and a 2. The 9 and the 1 make a 10. It filled the 10 frame, and we have 2 on the outside. That means 3 plus 9 and 10 plus 2 are 12. 10 plus 2 is 12, and 3 plus 9 are 12. It's the same number of counters. 
We just gave one of the three to the nine to fill out and make a 10. What is seven plus eight? Eight is the greater add-in, so we put eight counters in. We have seven green counters for the seven add-in. We can fill the rest of the 10 frame with some of the counters from the seven. Now we have a 10 and one, two, three, four, five. We had seven plus eight. We used the eight first because it's the greater add-in. So eight, and then we used two of the counters from the seven, and there's five on the outside. The eight and the two make a 10. Plus the five on the outside is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Seven plus eight is 15. We had our seven green ones and our eight blue ones and it made 15. Tala has nine crayons, Emma has eight crayons. How many crayons do they have? Nine is the greater add-in, so we put in nine counters into our 10 frame. Emma has eight, we can use eight red ones. And we can put one of these red ones into the 10 frame to make a 10. Now we've got nine plus the one, the one red one, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the outside. Nine plus one makes a 10. Plus the seven is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So nine plus eight is equal to 17. They have 17 crayons. We can use the clues to solve and draw lines to match. We've got three clues here, and we've got some boxes that need to be matched. So we need to pay very close attention to the clues. Emma, Tala, and Bob plant flowers. That's the first clue. Bob plants 10 purple flowers and two red flowers. The last clue is Emma and Bob plant the same number of flowers. So we need to use these clues to match these. The first thing I see is that Bob plants 10 purple flowers and two red flowers. And I see 10 purple flowers and two red flowers. So that's Bob, isn't it? We can match those right away. How much is 10? purple, and two red flowers. 10, 11, 12. So we know Bob planted 12 flowers, didn't he? It says Emma and Bob plant the same number of flowers. So if Bob planted 12, Emma must have planted 12. It says they planted the same number. So which box, this one or this one, would be 12 flowers. Do you know? Would eight purple flowers and five red flowers make 12? Let's count on. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm, that makes 13. Eight plus five is 13. Eight plus four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Eight purple and four red would make 12. So we know Emma matches that one. The only one left is Tala and this one, so they must be a match. They're the only ones left. Bob planted 10 purple and two red, 10 purple and two red, and Emma planted eight purple and four red. They both planted 12, see? Two of the red ones made a 10.
we need to circle each addition sentence that shows how to make a 10 to add. So we have all of these, okay? Does this make a 10 to add? If we had 8 and added 3, would that make a 10? 8, 9, 10, 11? No. How about 8 plus 4? Does that make a 10? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Nope. So that doesn't make a 10. How about 9 plus 1 plus 5? Does 9 plus 1 make a 10? Yes, it does. 9 and 1 more makes a 10, so that makes a 10. How about 7 plus 3 plus 6? Does that make a 10? With some left over? 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this makes a 10. So this number sentence makes a 10 to add. How about 3 plus 8 plus 2? 8, 9, 10, 11. Nope. How about 8 plus 2 on this side? 8, 9, 10. Yes, 8 and 2 makes 10. So this number sentence makes a 10. How about 3 plus 9 plus 1? Does 3 plus 9 make a 10? 9, 10, 11, 12? Nope. How about the 9 and the 1? Can that make a 10? 9, 10. Yes, that can make a 10. These two numbers added together can make a 10. Then we can add the 3 more. So we can circle this one. That makes a 10 to add. How about 6 plus 5 plus 1? Do any of these numbers make a 10 to add? Well, I know 5 plus 5 is 10, but there's no other 5 here. There's a 6 and a 1. So that one doesn't make a 10. 6 plus 5 is 11. That doesn't make a 10. How about 2 plus 8 plus 4? Do you see two numbers that can make a 10? 8, 9, 10. That makes a 10. Then we can add the 4. We can make a 10 to add. How about 7? plus 2 plus 5. Do you see numbers in here? Two numbers that'll make a 10 so we can add them all? Well, 7, 8, 9, that doesn't make a 10. And 7 plus 5 is 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no, that doesn't make a 10. So that's not one that we need to circle. Now, you can make your own 10 frame from an egg carton. Did you know that? You can get an egg carton when all the eggs are eaten and cut off two of the cups because egg, egg cartons have 12 cups. We only need 10. And you can make a 10 frame and you can count pennies and blocks and little pictures you made and you can add 10s and make 10s to add. Okay, so that might be fun, right? So, our next lesson is going to be adding three numbers. That's lesson 3.10. And we're going to see what numbers are compatible and are easier to add first from the three numbers. I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a wonderful day. And... I'll see you next time. Bye.